Here we are, nearing New Year's Day, and it's 54 degrees out. December was supposed to be a very, very cold month up here. Well, it wasn't. Does that mean we made a big mistake? Hmm. I chose to insulate the hives at the beginning of December. Well, actually it was after Thanksgiving, so it would be the end of November. Uh, December was supposed to be cold, and it wasn't cold. Bees seem to do pretty well, even in some extreme conditions. Our feral hive this summer taught us that. This hive was dilapidated, yet had been through many, many of their cold winters. So the question was, did insulating the hives as early as we did cause the bees to be too active during December and uh, possibly decrease the population of the hive through all of their cleansing flights. What was forecast was a month where the lows would be in the mid to upper 20s and the highs during the day would be upper 30s to 40s. Uh, instead we kind of averaged about 10 to 15 degrees above that. If I had known this was going to be the case, I probably would have held off insulating the hives till January, beginning of January. With the insulation in place, the hive bodies themselves stayed warmer and the bees stayed more active. The black outside also helped keep the hive warm, but as I say, it didn't have to. We were having a warm December to begin with. Still, it was time to take a peek in the hives and see exactly where they were at the end of the year. Sugar supply is good. Pollen cake, not so much. Now as we are officially in winter, the amount of times we check the inside of the hive will also be reduced. Um, chances are I'm not going to have too many videos out uh, in between now and mid-February. We're only going to go in maybe once every two weeks and just take a peek at things. Uh, once the end of February comes though, then it's a new season. I will be visiting the bee yard to make sure the entrances stay open. That's very critical in the winter. Hive beetles. Yes, those stinking hive beetles were still up there. Luckily not down in the hives, but they, they seem to retreat up under the inner cover and in the burlap box. More hive beetles. The food stores in all three hives appeared to be pretty good. It's interesting, uh, though you can't really open up the hives, or you really shouldn't open up the hives unless it's an emergency, you can still tell a lot by two factors. As you pull the burlap out, how moist is it? How much wetness has accumulated? And how much is heat is coming up from inside the hive? That'll tell you if the colony's healthy. The moisture and heat are produced by the bees in the cluster below. If you have heat and you have moisture, then you've got a good cluster. You can hear by the volume downstairs that there are plenty of bees deep in. Another thing that is interesting is the type of sound the bees are making can tell you a lot about what's going on. There's three different sounds that you're really looking for. The sound of a, a cluster that's just kind of lowly buzzing, that's a good sign. They're producing heat. They can also make sounds if they're in distress, such as there's no queen. They'll have a very aggravated sound. Or if they're just annoyed by the hive being open, that'll just be a peak of sound. All three hives had a nice low purr to them, which, in, in my opinion, was a very good sign that the uh, clusters were doing well. It's amazing as you pull the burlap up, as the heat comes up like a sauna. Bees like to keep that brood nest around 90 degrees or so, so you'll really feel it when you open up the hive. Oh, yeah. Another good sign that they're down there doing their thing, and another reason you don't want to open up the hive on a very cold day. They seem to be happy. They've reduced the amount of sugar. They're not as fond of the winter patties. That's okay. They have a fat content that they're probably getting out of the, the pollen stores that they still have below. And they'll always take the natural stuff before they take the artificial stuff. The important thing is to have that sugar, that source of energy, in case they start running low on honey. It's hard to say what the weight of the hive is. I'm going to try to pick it up. 
that's pretty heavy. Uh, so they have some good stores below. So we'll see you all sometime in January of 22 and have a happy new year and a safe holiday.